I still can't understand it. Somehow I managed to oversleep. And on the big day! Luckily, I arrived right on the money. It was some big deal. They were opening the tomb of some big shot pharaoh. The kids had given up their summer vacation to come and help the professor. Just think, this tomb has remained undisturbed for thousands of years. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm all a quiver. Who knows what lies behind these doors? Untold treasures, <laughs> perhaps. Oh, great! Mysteries! I hate mysteries. Laugh trap, shush. Just open the tomb, you silly little man. Sir Alistair Loveless was a big mucky muck from the London Museum. But he sure smelled like trouble. Per Absen, a king from the Second Dynasty. Wonderful! At last. Oh, what a find! Who knows how many years of human history we've uncovered here today! Uh, Professor, um, I, I, I seem to, uh, uh, that is... Owen, don't juggle those funerary jars. We must respect these ancient relics. Or uh, maybe we should get out of the way for a while. Uh, good idea. You kids can come back tomorrow. This is astounding! Per Absen was believed to be aligned with Set, the ancient Egyptian embodiment of chaos. It is even more astounding than your limited perception could ever imagine, Doctor. Ever since I was a poor child on the streets of London, I've dreamed of finding this sort of power. Quickly now, load everything into the trucks, including my esteemed colleague. Soon, my friend, the world will know the power of Set and the genius of me, Alistair Loveless. Ooh, there are so many evil things for us to do. <laughs> Something was up. I had that feeling I get right before an earthquake. The kids had other things to worry about. Well, Joni, I guess this makes you an international jewel thief. Can you at least pretend you're helping, Santiago? I cannot get this thing off. It feels like it's holding onto my finger. Maybe it likes you, Joni. It looks like some sort of ceremonial ring. You'd better let Professor Botch know you have it. Okay, Leslie, I'll tell him tomorrow. But it's so embarrassing. I never should have touched this ring in the first place. We didn't know it then, but Egypt was about to get a lot harder than usual. You want to know what happens? Well, before you go on, you must use the keyboard and sign your name on this piece of paper. I hate being right all the time, but my instincts told me something bad would happen, and boy did it ever. We'd all gone back to the dig early, but the place was deserted. Everything's gone. Where's the professor? How'd they get all that stuff out of here without being seen? Probably an inside job. And I had a pretty good idea who was behind it. I've got a feeling the professor is in trouble. We've got to help him. How are we going to do that, Joni? We needed a lucky break. Something left behind, or... Socrates found a hidden door. Good boy. I wonder what it is. Oh, Egyptian kings were always buried with spells of protection and other important writings. 
This one was hidden away from the other treasures, so it must be very important. And it's our only clue. How can we read it? We need to find someone to translate this scroll. Let's put it in the backpack and get back to Cairo. This mystery could spell trouble. If you're in a jam and you need help, just ask me. I'm here for you. And if you need to know where you are, or you want to take a break, use me. Come on, Clue Finders, let's roll. Welcome to the desert's hottest Jeep dealership. You folks look like you're on your way to Cairo. Am I right? Why, yes. Have I got a deal for you. You can pick any one of my beautiful Jeeps, but only one can make it to Cairo. Multiply the two numbers on the sign above a Jeep to find out how far that Jeep can travel. The sign pointing to Cairo tells you how far you need to travel. Pick the Jeep you want when you're ready to go. Step aside, give me the wheel, lap traps in charge. Where to now? We have to find someone who can translate the scroll. Meow. Stop. No. That dog. Socrates, come here. Lucky for us, the place is empty. Oh boy, customers. I didn't hear you come in. Sorry about that. You caught me napping. When you're 5,000 years old, you need lots of rest. 5,000 years old? Wait a minute. Hey, if you're so old, do you recognize this? Hmm, this. This, as a matter of fact, this scroll tells of an ancient evil. I knew the professor was in trouble. Whoever took your professor is up to no good. He wants to unleash the power of Set, the ancient Egyptian embodiment of chaos. Oh, great! I hate chaos. How can we stop him? Legend has it that the ancients built a mysterious place of power. Those worthy enough to enter would be granted the power needed to stop Set. This scroll has five clues that will guide you on your first step toward locating this place of power. But wait, the clues are written in an ancient code. I can't read this without chiroglyphs. Oh, chiroglyphs. What are chiroglyphs? Ancient pottery pieces with letters carved upon them. Bring me back 12 chiroglyphs, and I'm sure I can decipher the first clue. But where can we find these mysterious chiroglyphs? Hey, you're the clue finders, not me. But it shouldn't be too hard. Luckily, this is the chiroglyph district. Everyone around here collects chiroglyphs. You can count on us. <laughs> Those kids are going to do fine. Guess we better go find those chiroglyphs. Excuse me, dude. I mean, uh, sir. We're looking for some chiroglyphs. Do you know where we might find any? Today's your lucky day. I have my old collection right here in the shop. Help my way to deliver the right amount of coffee and I'll give you a glyph. Read the question on the sign. Then place cups that add up to the correct answer on the waiter's tray. You can make the correct answer using two or three cups. You sure got the hang of this business. 
take this here glyph. Okay, coffee breaks over. You are so smart! Well, I'm glad you're working for me! Uh, wake up, kids! Here we go again! Hey! How about we trade hot coffee for your hard work, huh? Oh, okay, okay, take this here glyph. Well, that's it! I'm all out of Kyra glyphs for now! Not enough Kyra glyphs for a clue yet. Dude, I wonder if there are any hieroglyphs hidden in all this cloth. Cloth? Hello, this is fabric. It's gorgeous. I've had customers all over Cairo screaming for it, but they always tell me how much to cut as a fraction problem. Check out the request on the sign. It's your turn to do the math, for a hieroglyph, of course. Cut off just the right amount from one of these four bolts of fabric hanging off the top shelf. Just move my scissors over the fabric. When the piece is exactly the right length, let go of the scissors to cut it. Awesome! Here's a chiroglyph. I am so fractionally fried. Can you help me out and cut the right length of cloth? That is going to make the most totally stunning outfit. That fabric is like so in. Could you take this order? You are this. I am so in awe of you. You rule. Uh, that was my last hieroglyph. I am so bummed. Sorry, all my boats are rented right now. When you're ready to leave Cairo, come back again. We'll be back. Thank heavens you're here. Customers all over the world are clamoring for my goods, and my atlas has vanished. Can you help me get these parcels out? We'd be happy to help you, ma'am. Especially if you can help us out with a couple of chiroglyphs. Very well, then. For every two packages you help me ship, I will give you a chiroglyph. Read the directions on the package and tag. Then use the pin to show the parcel's correct destination on the map. My customers will be delighted. A chiroglyph, young adventurers.
My customers will be delighted. Your skill is exceptional. Where does this one go? Here you are, my friends. Excellent! I'm all out of chiroglyphs, but I could still use your help. Ah, what have we here? Visitors. I hear you're looking for chiroglyphs. Well, you've come to the right place. Read the question on the banner, then drag the stone with the correct answer from the wall onto the sled. Every time you answer two questions, I'll give you a chiroglyph. Ha <laughs> ha! You are very wise for being so young. Here is a chiroglyph for you. And now, how about this one? You impress me greatly. Here's one of my precious chiroglyphs. And now, how about this one? You are very clever, and here is your reward. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on chiroglyphs. Come back later. I may have some more. We're back, mister, and we have 12 chiroglyphs. Great! Give them all to me! Twelve chiroglyphs! Good work! Hmm, yeah, aha! Here it is! Here is your first clue! Out of stone I am made, great secrets underlaid. What am I? Cool. I wonder what it means. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Come on, clue finders, four more clues to go. Good 
evening, Professor. I trust your quarters are comfortable? You have quite a wonderful dungeon, Loveless. Tenth Dynasty, I believe. You know, there's a funny story here involving a king that... Yes, yes, I've heard it. Now then, Professor, you must come with me. It's time we had a little... talk. How nice! Shall we talk about Egypt? Don't feign ignorance with me, Professor. You will answer my questions. You will. We're back, mister, and we have 12 hieroglyphs. Great! Give them all to me! Aha! Here's the next clue! An icon carved of ancient stone, missing only my rightful throne. Who am I? Cool, but what does it mean? I'm working on it. Come on, clue finders. Let's go get those chiroglyphs. Oh, joy. I have one question, Professor. Where is the ring? And what ring would that be? You know what I'm talking about, Professor! The ring! The ring! The ring! The ring. The ring. Do not mock me, Professor! Don't mock you! You will tell me where to find the ring, otherwise your students will... Wait... Your students? Of course! <laughs> We're back, mister, and... Aha! Here's the next clue! A lonely vigil, I guard the gate. Five thousand years, and still I wait. Where am I? Hmm. A five thousand year old stone icon with a throne? Missing a throne. Are we through now? No, Lap Trap. We've got to get the rest of these clues and find the professor. Let's go. Find the children. Follow them. When the time is right, take the ring and bring it to me. Now go. The time is fast approaching. Soon, the whole world will know the name. Alistair Loveless the Third. <laughs> We're back, mister, and we have 12 chiroglyphs. Aha! Here's the next clue! By likeness I immortalize, and behind me my treasure lies! Hmm, I wonder what it means. Let's go! There's one more clue to translate! Once I have the ring, I can proceed with the ceremony! Ooh, are you getting married? How lovely! I'm not getting married, you twit! I am an evil man, and I am up to no good. Say, what sort of a ceremony is this, anyway? Ah, so you're finally beginning to understand! With the ring, I will focus the astral energy that will unleash the power of Set! No! Yes! No! No! Yes! Yes! Oh, my! This could be a problem. <laughs> 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 
We're back, mister, and we... Ah! Here's the final clue! To make the secret door appear, touch hand, foot, then an ear. Hey, now that sounds like something we can handle. Yeah, these clues are starting to make sense. Right. It's made of stone, it belongs on a throne, and if we use the clues properly, it will unlock a door. And bring us closer to finding the professor. Let's go, clue finders. The application of a little brain power should enable us to solve the riddle of these five clues. Whoa! Whoa! Dudes, that rocked! This must be the place the antique dealer told us about. Let's get in there and take the next step toward finding the professor. How did he get here before us? When you get to be 5,000 years old, you learn about a secret passage or two. So what's the deal? I thought you said the secret that would lead us to the place of power would be here. Patience! To unlock the secret, you must first solve this ancient puzzle. Use the colored pieces to complete the rectangle on the wall behind me. Hey dudes, check it out! It looks like there's another scroll in there! Oh no, I can't read a word of this. Can you help us out? Kids these days, these are simple hieroglyphics. When did they stop teaching hieroglyphics in school? So, what does it say? Well, it goes something like this. <coughs> the threat to our land is deep and dark. Stopping it won't be a walk in the park. But you have proven worthy and wise. What a swell bunch of gals and guys. Yeah. But when the pretender tries to take the throne, you won't be able to stop him alone. You'll find allies in a secret place on the Nile, but getting there may take you a while. You can't walk or fly there. You'll have to float. So Get out of here and go south in a boat. That has to be the worst piece of poetry I have ever heard. Well, you heard the man. Let's go find a boat. Hello there. We're headed south and in a hurry. Do you have a boat we can rent? Sure do, <laughs> but there's some assembly required. Here's what you gotta do. Select the parts you want from the sign. You need one hull, one motor, and one sail. When you're ready to go, launch the boat. coming to a stop by itself. And look, there seems to be a large obelisk behind those trees. I wonder if that's the secret place on the Nile the antique dealer mentioned. Owen's right. Clue finders, let's dock this boat and check it out. Oh, joy. Hello, darlings. I see you have found your way to my palace. 
The help you seek lies within. All right, let's go in. I'd love to let you through. But first, there is the small matter of the palace doors. As you can see, they are covered with lovely gems set in beautiful patterns. But some of the gems were stolen by the vile mice in this area. Why don't you go and get them back? Well, darling, these mice are a little bizarre. They seem to be convinced that they are ancient Egyptians and spend their days building pyramids and columns and such. They are a little too weird for me. Ah, uh, don't be such a fraidy cat. Let me propose a bargain. If you get those awful mice to give you back the stolen gems and use them to complete the pattern on each of my five doors, I will open the doors for you. When you have repaired all five doors, you can enter the palace. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's go see those mice. Can we help you? Can you help me? My dear child, you can have my job. I am Postmaster General, and these are my associates. Uh, hello? You need to direct my associates from the start position on the map all the way to the cheese. To tell them how to get there, move the pieces with the correct directions on them from below onto the scroll here. is the key to the completion of our mission. Hey, fellas! Cheese! Oh, you are the clever one. Here's a gem. <laughs> all right, all right. Set them up. You rodents, spread out. Hey, fellas! Cheese! At this rate, I'll be flat broke by the time we're done. <laughs> I like you kids, so winsome and winning. Okay, let's get a move on. Hey, fellas! Cheese! Luckily, my messengers work for cheese. <laughs> I'm fresh out of gems, but I know you're wonderful. You'll work for free, right? Greetings! I am the great artist of this land. I have just drawn a masterful hieroglyph here. You can help me by making a sentence to describe my drawing. Move the stones from below into the space underneath my drawing. Choose the words that best describe my beautiful pictures. When you're like done, put the stone with the period on it at the end of the sentence. Thank you. 
you and I, as a duo, we are magnifique! Here's another masterpiece. Every time you complete two sentences, you'll earn a gem. Not a bad deal, huh? You understand my unique style, no? Here's another one. Your sentences are as good as my drawings. As a bird must fly, so I must, like, paint. You and I, as a duo, we are magnifique! And now for another, like, masterpiece! You understand my unique style, no? Hey, pal, check out this hieroglyph. Your sentences are as good as my drawings! It is marvelous to have your help, but for now I'm all out of gems. Hey, dude, what you building? I'm not a dude, I'm a mouse, see? And we're building a pyramid, one sentence at a time, see? And we could use some giants like you, yeah. How much does the job pay? Don't worry about that, kid. You'll earn a gem. Now help me fix this stone sentence, see? Fit the stone with the correct word into the sentence, yeah. We need a stone with a word that means the opposite of that word. Hmm, well, that doesn't do the trick, does it? That word is almost right, but it has the wrong ending. You're doing all right, see? Keep this up and you'll go places, kiddos. Let's go, you mice. We've got lots of work to do, see? All right, step it up. No vacation, see? You guys are the real deal. You're big time. Yes, you're big time. They're little, but they've got what it takes. Yeah. Let's keep those stones moving. You giants are headed to the big town, if you keep this up. Yeah. Let's go, you mice. We've got lots of work to do, see? Uh. 
Hey, uh, I got a little problem. I'm temporarily out of gems, see? I may have some more later, but if you want to stay and help, that's okay with me. Yeah. Hey, you're right on time. <laughs> I'm fixing up a master builder. This palace is going to be state-of-the-art. Ten floors, 50-car garage, 250-watt stereo system, an ancient Egyptian temple with all the modern amenities. Cool, if that's what you want. To help me build a column, drag the column pieces from the ground onto the column base. You need to build a column that's exactly the height shown on the blueprint. Build three columns and earn a gem. Hey, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Hey, most excellent. Oh, you could build your own palace. You are saving me time. More columns. <laughs> Here we go. You have done a gem of a job. Now that's quality craftsmanship. <laughs> Here! <laughs> you earned it! Okay, set him up! Oh, you could build your own palace! Hey, most excellent! This in a safe place like that, uh, that backpack. Okay, you can still help, but uh, I won't be able to pay you. We're back, and we have all 12 gems. Just take the gems from your backpack and use them to complete the pattern on the door. That's all you need to do. How magnificent! You have unlocked the first door! Now there are only four more to go. You will need twelve more gems from those horrid mice for the next one. Come back when you have the gems you need to repair the door.
The time is fast approaching, Professor. Soon my minions will return with the ring, and the power of chaos will be mine to control. You can't control chaos, Loveless. Uh, can you? You're... you're tangling with forces beyond your comprehension. Nonsense, my dear Professor. I comprehend just fine. With the power of Set at my side, the world will soon rue the day they ever heard of me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed my mint. Hey, look out! Hey, let go, you big bully! Hey, uh, come on, fight fair! Hey, I can take you! I Stop, let go! Tagu, Siam, Sing, come to Papa, little ring. Yuck, is that thing alive? Fascinating. Yeah! Hey! You guys feel like giving me a hand here, or what? Oh, sorry. Oh, no! They got the ring! Wait a minute. Who were those guys? Hmm. What have we here? <laughs> well done, my minions. You have returned with the ring. Now, quickly, return to the tomb and prepare the ancient contraption of chaos. Soon, the ceremony begins. <gasps> Not the ancient contraption of chaos! I beg you to reconsider, Loveless. You're making a terrible mistake. Oh, am I, Professor? Am I? <laughs> is mine. We must prepare for the ceremony. Quickly, prepare the ancient contraption of chaos. Oh, no. Oh, yes. With these ancient pistons and gears in place, this pyramid, long buried underground, will rise from beneath the tomb. And with the pyramid in place, we will be ready to conduct the ceremony soon. I will be the most powerful villain on Earth. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, my young friends. You may now enter the palace, but what you see inside may surprise you. Oh, I don't like surprises. Come on, Laugh Trap. You know that after all this work, there has to be something good in there for us. Well, let's check it out. The ancients have set forth their challenge. None but the worthy and wise may cross the river on the bridge of crocodiles. Gotta get across that stretch of river. I guess we couldn't jump it, huh? Hmm. I remember reading that some ancient civilizations used to build their bridges in segments. Yes, that's it. Each of those crocodiles has a piece of a bridge on their head. If only we could find a way to knock those crocs into the water. Hey, look at that ancient mechanical device. I bet we could use it to lower the statues into the river. Uh, just drop in a ball. Point and launch. Are you sure it's as simple as that? Well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. It's not quite that easy, young mortals. First, you'll need to move the launcher to the right position. 
Then you must use the right force, angle, and mass. To start, choose a ball and place it in the launcher. Next, use the up and down arrows to choose an angle. Then click along the track to move the launcher to the left or right. Finally, pull the plunger to set the correct force. Then release the plunger to launch the ball. If the ball hits the target on a statue, the statue will lower into the river, forming a piece of the bridge. That was a good toss, but only the wisest may cross. Build the entire bridge to demonstrate your wisdom. Impressive performance, oh tiny mortals! But you will need to further prove your valor. <laughs> Verily, thou art mighty and crafty, wise ones! Puzzle of the ancients and may cross. You are worthy champions. All right, we bridged the river, and I have a feeling something big is waiting just on the other side. Wow, let's go. Couldn't we just head back to that nice hotel room in Cairo? Wow, what is this place? Remember the obelisk on top of the palace? Yeah. I believe we're now inside it. That's crazy. We'd never fit inside that thing. You know, you would if it was magic. All right. What is going on? Hiya, kids. Welcome to our palace. We're, like, really happy to see you, man. Oh, you better tell him, Horace. Yes, time is of the essence. Okay, okay. We've been checking you kids out. You've got spunk. I'm telling you, man. Each of you has intense gifts within you. Yeah, and since you've got a big battle with the forces of chaos coming up, we're going to enhance your gifts by giving you special powers. Uh, we fight the forces of chaos ourselves, but uh, uh, we've got a little hype problem. Anyway, you wacky kooky kids, get ready, cause here it comes. Owen, flight! Let's see, intelligence. Santiago, strength, man. Johnny, bravery. Hey, nice spending time with you. Good luck, kids. Look at the palace! The professor is somewhere inside that thing. Let's go, Clue Finders! Well, what have we here? Looks like a group of fresh young heroes. Unfortunately, I already had a hero sandwich for lunch. Who are you people, anyhow? We're the Clue Finders. We're gonna stop the forces of chaos. Ah, get out of here. Uh, no, really. No, really, get out of here. But to get out, you're gonna have to open the door by choosing the secret answer. Read the question on the door, then place the marker star in the slot next to the correct answer. That sounds simple enough. Simple, he says. I've been doing this for thousands of years, and I still don't understand it. That was a good... Keep going. Let's go. We have to find the professor. 
So long, and remember to use caution. Caution comes in four delicious flavors, red, green, blue, and purple. Haven't we seen you before? I don't think so. In fact, I'm not sure I'm seeing you now. You might be something I ate. You kids solved this one with style, which is more than I can say for the decor. We must be going around in circles. Actually, I'd say you were going around in a pyramid. Keep going. Welcome to the Chasm of Peril. I am Thoth, embodiment of knowledge. Wow! I remember reading about you in my Egyptian mythology book. <laughs> it is good that you are well read, for you will need to use your full mastery of language to overcome this obstacle. You will need to spell words. Pick up the letter tiles from the ground and place them upon the empty spots on the bridge over the chasm. I will tell you each word you must spell to complete the bridge. Spelling our way out of trouble? This is going to be great! Spell this word, afternoon. In Cairo, most businesses are closed for a few hours in the afternoon because of the heat. Afternoon. indeed to solve these difficult challenges. Now spell this word. Navigate. Ancient Egyptians used sailboats to navigate downwind along the Nile River. Navigate. Truly, you are wise and worthy. For your next challenge, spell this word. Animals. Mummies of sacred animals were often buried with the pharaohs. Animals. Done. Show your approval, my baboons. I've got to stop this. You will do no such thing. Seize him! Oh dear. Nothing can stop me now, Professor. Not you, and not your meddling students. And now, we will begin the ceremony! <laughs> this ring gives me the power to command you! Awake, Set, and grant me the power of ultimate chaos! I command you! Huh? My ring! Come back here! You puny man. 
Ah! People like you give chaos a bad name! And now, I grow fatigued by your foolishness. Mummify me, set! I am your master! I command you to! Yes, yes, yes. I grow fatigued. Ah! And now to you, tiny ones. Hey, big bully! You don't scare us! We're here to stop you! Uh, how are we gonna do that, Joni? Yes. How indeed do you propose to do that, my friend? I am, after all, set. I am chaos. And you must do as I say, for I am very big, and you are very, very small. Oh dear, perhaps we should just run. We've got a plan. Right, Leslie? A plan! <laughs> That's right. Joni, you distract him. Hey, over here, you overgrown aardvark! Owen, you fly Santiago up to those pistons. Ready, buddy? I'll leave. Santiago, push those pistons back in. Uh, uh, almost there. We did it! What? How did you? But you distracted me! The pistons are reversed! No! No! The, the pyramid's collapsing! Get me out of here! No! Wow, cool effects! We all packed up because it was time to head home. Me? I was traveling incognito, so I wouldn't have to ride cargo. You kids really saved the day. Yeah, we stopped that set dude, but good. And the artifacts were all recovered and returned to their rightful places. Including the ring. And the scroll. Right, and I guess Alistair Lovelace won't be bothering Egypt or us again. Good riddance! It'll be too soon the day I see that man again. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 